Welcome to Electra Online. In this video, we're going to explore the concept of a couple. What is a couple? Well, a couple is two forces acting on a single object, and the line of actions of the two forces are a small distance apart. You can see that we have a beam here that's five meters long. We have F1 acting downward on the beam, 100 newton force, F2 acting upward on the beam, 200, uh, another 100 newton force, and the lines of actions of the two are separated by 50 centimeters. In order to understand what a couple is, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the torque caused by those two forces relative to point A. So what we're going to do here is we're going to sum up the torques about point A and see what they're equal to. So we have F1, which causes a clockwise motion about point A. That means that is a negative torque, negative F1, multiplied times the distance, which in this case is 3 meters. And we add to that the torque caused by F2. Now, since F2 causes a counterclockwise torque, that's a positive torque, positive F2, multiplied times the distance, in this case, 3.5 meters. So when we add all those up, the sum of the torques about point A is equal to minus 100 newtons times 3 meters plus 100 newtons times 3.5 meters. So this is equal to minus 300 newton meters plus 350 newton meters, which is equal to 50 newton meters. So relative to point A, the left side of the beam, the sum of the torque caused by those two forces equals 50 newton meters. Now let's go ahead and calculate the torque caused by those two forces relative to point B. So the sum of all the torques about point B is equal to F1 causes a counterclockwise motion about B that would be positive torque plus F1 multiply times the distance in this case that would be 2 meters minus because F2 causes a clockwise motion about point B that would be minus torque minus F2 multiply times the distance in this case that would be 1.5 meters the sum of all the torques about point B, when we plug in the values for the forces, that's 100 newtons times 2 meters minus 100 newtons times 1.5 meters. This is equal to 200 newton meters minus 150 newton meters. This is equal to 50 newton meters. Now that's the interesting result. Notice, when we calculated the torque relative to point A of those two forces, we got 50 newton meters. When we calculated the torque about point B of those two forces relative to point B, we got 50 newton meters. In other words, it doesn't matter what pivot point we take on the beam, the total torque caused by those two forces will always be exactly 50 newton meters. That's what we mean by a couple. A couple is the torque caused on an object by two forces that are equal in magnitude, opposite in the directions, and a small distance away from each other. Well, it could be a large distance away from each other. The result would be the same, but typically it's a smaller distance. And so that's what we call a force couple or a couple. It's the torque caused by two forces, equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, acting on the same object. And so in this case, what we can say is that the couple is equal to the force of either one of them, the magnitude of the force, multiplied times the distance between them. So in this case, we can say that's equal to 100 newtons, multiplied times 0.5 meters, which is equal to 50 newton meters. And that's what we mean by the couple. The couple is simply the force times the distance between them. And you can find it by picking any pivot point and summing up all the torques or simply multiplying the magnitude of the force times the distance between them. And that's what we mean by a couple. 